This is a specific video for create incident report dashboard for Excel and Google Sheets. And this is the part where I explain how to use Excel spreadsheets instead of Google Sheets. So you can use the same template. Here uh, you have a link to uh, a spreadsheet file. You can right click and select uh, save link as or similar. And it should download one for you. I already have it here. As you can see, when you load the, the template, the dashboard is empty. So here, if I um, if I drop and the file I downloaded here in the spreadsheet uh, source, or I select it from the file picker, it will work. As you can see, now the dashboard is populated. And this is an introduction to handle some cases that may happen to you. I will show you now if I, I can create a new dashboard. I create a spreadsheet um, source and I will drop the file we just used. And as you can see, the date format is a little bit different and uh, you have to select promote routes to headers. The, the format is different from Google Sheets um, because dates are handled differently in Excel and Google Spreadsheets. One format you may get is this, which is just the date part uh, in the format uh, year dash um, month uh, dash day, or something different, depends on the configuration of, of your Excel instance and your computer. So no matter which format you get, if you're doing it um, by hand, you have to click like in the introduction for Google Spreadsheets, uh, select the magic wand and check the transformation that will transform from text to a date uh, detecting the format. In this case, it detected the format. And after that, it's, it's all the same. Another thing that may happen, depending how, on how the, how the file was saved, is that you get something different, uh, something like this, where and the Excel spreadsheet store the type of and uh, the cells as numbers. So you get these numbers around 40,000 something. And this is an internal representation that uh, Excel uses for dates. Uh, but uh, don't worry, it will work anyway. It will work the same, just add the field and click the magic wand and it will recommend a transformation like Excel number to date. As long as that number has the Excel representation for a date that falls in the in a range of 10 years, 10 years in the past, 10 years in the future, Instadec will detect that format and will recommend you Excel number to date. So once you do that transformation, again, it's going to be the same as before. So. No matter which format uh, you get, uh, don't get surprised. Just use the magic wand and select the appropriate um, transformation. If you get any other format for dates, uh, Instadex should uh, detect it. If you get uh, dashes, uh, or slashes, dots, or if the order of um, the day and the month and the year are different, Instadex should uh, detect it. And if it doesn't, just contact us and let us know because we should handle it. Other than that, that's the only difference and uh, you may get is uh, the format in which the dates come uh, from the Excel spreadsheet and from Google Sheets. But after the, the transformation, it should work um, as before and uh, the template works if, um, if the input format uh, is a date like this, it will work. You don't need to change anything in the template. But just in case you are doing it step by step, or if you get the, the numeric format for dates from Excel, and just you have to check for a different transformation, but uh, other than that, it will work. Bye.